This video will show you how to send secure information via Google Drive. We'll start by going to Google Drive and then seeing how we can share information securely from there. First, navigate to the NISD portal and log in. Once you're logged into the portal, open your Google Drive. From your Google Drive, you can either upload new items that you want to share or use items that are already available, such as this item. So in this document, we have a student's name or other personal identifiable information. How can we send this securely without copying and pasting it? Some people consider Google Drive is not secure because it's in the cloud, but that is not true. All the new files you create or upload into Google Drive are protected, encrypted for security, and only accessible by you as the default. You can see this by looking at the share button at the top right. As you can see, there's a lock icon that shows this document is private only to me. The only way that other people can access your files are in Drive are if you click the share button at the top right and share the item yourself, if you share an entire folder in Drive, or if you put an item into a shared folder. So follow these instructions to share securely. Any document that you already have in Drive, you can go up to the share button, click share, and then type in the name or email address of the person that you want to securely share with. By doing this, it will notify people that you are sharing with them. You also have options in this gear that will enable you to have more control of how you are sharing. For example, you can share with someone as an editor, but you can take away their ability to change those permissions and share the document with other people. You also can make it so that viewers or commenters can only see the information and do not have the option to download, print, or copy giving you more control over the safety and security of the item. Once you share an item with somebody, you'll notice that the icon has changed up here to tell you that this is a shared document. You also have an additional layer of security once you have shared a document by going to the person you've shared it with, clicking on the arrow, you can change their access to give them temporary access that will expire after a set time. This is a great way if you want to share some information with somebody only over a certain period. You can also do the same sharing from your Google Drive screen. Once your sharing settings are correct, you can also share in an email by copying the link here to the individual document and pasting that link into an email. Notice that this still reminds us that this item is restricted and only people that we've shared it with can open this link. Another way that you can share is by putting things directly into folders that are already shared. As you can see here, the top folder has already been shared, noticed by the icon with a person on it, whereas this folder is not shared and so it does not have the shared icon. I could go into this unshared folder place an item here and share it individually, or I can share this folder with just one person or the people that I want to see this on a regular basis, and then I can drop those individual items into this folder, which will automatically share it with them. So remember, you can always securely share items via Google Drive, but you just need to make sure that your sharing settings are set the way that you need them to be. If you have questions, you can reach out to your campus instructional technologist. Thank you.